target saving in the hoist. Okay, I'm about to tell you down, best to throw water on her. We'll probably end up putting our swimmer down into the water to pick you guys up. I've got one uh, man that's uh, pretty old and, and can't swim. Roger that, copy that, Captain. Uh, you guys have your gummy suits on? Altitude. Yeah, I Altitude. couldn't hear. I can't hear you now with the chopper. I'll slide off. The raft is uh, tied up and useless now. Looks like one guy made. One guy just went over on the starboard side. Car's gone down. Summer's in the water. Summer's away. Summer's okay. Clear your back and left 20. Got one guy in the raft. Yeah, unless it looks like it's nice and flat and stable, but it doesn't sound like it is. Yeah. No, if, if it comes to the... Ch if, if we are going to be picking them up, I mean, and it sounds... But I would definitely put in the vote that they got in the draft and pushed off a little bit from it so that nobody's trying to walk around on them. That other boat is pitch big. I can see it from here. It's a large vessel. It's huge. Oh, yeah, I have them on the UIR. So I'm imagining that since the uh, app deck's almost underwater, that the bow is not level. So trying to send a basket to them and ask them to get in on an on-level surface might be more risk than necessary. So I'm inclined to agree with you, Jason, about uh, having them get in the raft. Agreed. Plus there's bound to be uh, railings and stuff that the basket could snag on. They won't know how to tend to it. How much time on scene are we going to have, sir? I would say our fuel is not the limiting factor. You yeah. Agree, uh, Christopher is, we should not feel rushed. I just I have us on scene for 45 minutes, and that still puts us on deck at, with uh, 2,000 pounds. I just mean I don't know how long they're going to want to formulate a plan before they decide they want us to get them or not, so. What's the latest from the Coast Guard? Captain, uh, from the Coast Guard helicopter, uh, we're arriving on scene now. All right, so my intention is to enter an 80-foot hover. I'm basically setting up for a left base, unless you guys want to do an orbit. I'd rather just get into a hover if we've got good winds. Sounds good. Looks like they're, they're making way on purpose to try and uh, reduce. Uh, it's that smaller boat that's... Sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, they're they're in trouble. Yeah, the Aptex. Yeah. You should just get them off now, sir. Yeah, I'm on the in, in listening on the radio, uh, Hilo, uh, what would you like us to do there? And I think it'd be easier if you can get to your life raft to get into that, but otherwise, uh, we'll probably end up putting our swimmer down into the water to pick you guys up. I've got one, uh, man that's, uh, pretty old and, and can't swim. Roger that, copy that, Captain. Uh, you guys have your gummy suits on? Altitude. Yeah, I Altitude. couldn't hear. I can't hear you now with the chopper. I'll slide off. Oh, yeah, the helicopter is gorgeous. And yeah, they all have their suits on and they all have lights blinking and the, they're all on the bow. The 100 side. feet. 100 Roger feet. Doors going open. So he can't swim, one guy? It'd still be better for him in the raft. Okay. Do you think that there's some comfort level provided by putting you down by the raft first? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, because I can get over to the back deck, and I can, I mean, where is everybody else? I see the one guy in the bow, or the other one's in the raft. The captain uh, from the Coast Guard, uh, is everyone up on the uh, bow? Did you say everybody to get on the bow? Nope, we were wondering if everyone was on the bow, or where everyone is. I'm the one talking on the radio, I'm in the wheelhouse. Sir, do you want to back off just a little bit more? It can be pretty loud out there with us. No problem. Yeah, I only see two guys up on the bow, one in the wheelhouse. I mean, we want them in the raft. That's, yeah. The captain from the Coast 100 Guard, feet. if you guys can safely make feet. it into your raft, that would be the easiest for us. Uh, Gordon Jensen, could you relay that? I hear you better than I can hear him. Hey, Gordon Jensen uh, from the Coast Guard. It would be easier for those guys to get into their raft and for us to recover them from the raft. I, I will uh, try to get everybody into the raft. Copy that. Um, I've got one older guy that doesn't know how to swim, so he may be hesitant, but let me see what I can do. Yep, Roger that. You, are all, you guys all set? I'm all set, sir. All right. Roger, do you want me to start getting changed out? Roger that. Disconnect your clients, yes. Rescue checklist part two while he's changing if everybody's on board. Roger. Take him out of hold now, please. Well, but I'll keep it off with these swells. Yeah, hey, pilot, great radius. Set. Co pilot. Set pilot. Set hoist all. Set all. Head back to the phone. It's on. Uh, his audio is required in our briefing. Okay, uh, let's see, so hazards, yeah, I definitely don't think getting them from the bow is going to be the best idea. They're basically holding on to the rail, it's probably listing at 40 degrees, so we've already discussed that we're going to have them enter the uh, life raft there. So the hazard will be the uh, the string and the fact that one guy can or the uh, line connecting the raft to the vessel and the fact that one guy cannot swim. But uh, that's what uh, Jason's trying to do is handle that, so the... Uh, Primary risk, I think, is just going to be the fact that they got to make Okay, we got one that doesn't swim, but we're going to try to get him on the line and have him slide back to the raft. I'm going to try to get one of the guys, young uh, guys back there first so they can help him in. Yep, roger that, Captain. Yeah, we'll be sending Jason down, hopefully. I'd like to get him down sooner rather than later to assist this guy. So, uh, hazards are briefed, and we'll be conducting a... Hoist, or excuse me, a, a harness deployment of the rescue swimmer to the raft first, and then we'll be doing four basket recoveries. Roger. I'll use uh, 50 feet for my hoisting altitude, and the heading will be about 165. And did I cover everything? Good. Okay, any questions? No questions. Roger. Freeze complete. Roger, stand by. Or do you want to tell him that we're sending us? He probably has no idea that we're going to send somebody. Down. Hey, Captain, from the Coast Guard helicopter, we're uh, going to be sending our swimmer down to the uh, water to help you guys out of the raft and into the rescue basket for pickup. Hey, thank you. All right, let me know when you guys are set. I'll descend and then slide over into position. Roger. All right, uh, almost ready. Goodness, close and stuff, huh? Uh, where are you thinking about putting them? Just, just off the after the raft there? Yep, very close to the raft. We've got uh, strong winds that should help us uh, keep our rotor wash away, I guess. It should. Yeah, it seems like it's right, right underneath us. Yeah, I feel that way too, yeah. Okay. Keep an eye on it. Uh, swell's not looking too bad. It's a little choppy, but... Yeah, the boat's uh, starting to turn too, so... Yeah, it is. I don't know if he's doing that or what. He probably just left the wheelhouse, you know what? That's what just happened to that. It's getting pretty bad on there, so is uh, Jason pretty much ready? Yep, bring him to the door. 
Pond, 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 Pond. Hello, all stations. This is United States Coast Guard, Texas. You know United States Coast Guard, Texas. Time, 1140, Greenwich Mean Time, 0340, local time, Alaska. Uh, Rescue Jake, Star 2 is clean, ready for all hard. Rescue Star 2, Roy, Roger, 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 all vessels in the machine are requested to be sharp lookout. It's possible and report all vessels. Sure, afterwards, over, sir, line up. Doors ready. Okay, I see it. The boat's about to run over its own line here. That yeah, is. All right, so let's hold here, because I can't put Jason down next to that. Uh, no, I don't want to put him down there. All right. I think the boat's about to go over any time now, don't you? Yeah, it's about to. They need to get off. Yeah. Captain, if you can hear us, uh, you guys need to... We're going to be putting our swimmer down, so you guys need to... Yeah, Alright, do you just want to deploy uh, here? I'll put him right here? Yep. Alright, so check swimmer. Alright, check swimmer. Swimmer's ready. Alright, let me get the hoist. The raft is uh, tied up and useless now, I think. Alright, that's our sight. We get the hoist. Swimmer's gone outside, Kev. Swimmer's outside, Kev. I'm going to throw you, Swimmer's ready. Swimmer's going down. Sir, it's going down. Swimmer's halfway down. Put it in. It's off water and hold it. Coming in. Out of airport right. 15. Looks like one guy made. One guy just went over on the starboard side. Rider. Fort right 10. Fort right 5. And hold. And he looks like he made it in. Swimmer's going down. Swimmer's going down. Swimmer's going down. Swimmer's in the water. Swimmer's away. Swimmer's okay. Clear your back in left 20. Got one guy in the raft. Oh, it did survive. Okay, I thought it got wrapped up. Yeah, that's alright. Hey, clear your back in left 15. Jason, so you're at 3 o'clock. Voice is coming up. Folks coming up. Where are the guys on the starboard side? Did you put Jason in? Yeah, three, two, three, 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 Port side, yeah. On the port side, he's, he's heading towards the raft right now, sir. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a swim. Sector 6032, channel 16, we are on scene. We just deployed the uh, swimmer. One person is in the raft, and the others are making their way towards the raft. Headed right for our hover position. 32, Sector General, Roger, I understand you are on scene, and you have deployed your swimmer. One person is in the raft, and the others are on their way towards the raft, correct? Over. Sector 6032, AFRM. Roger, nothing further. Three, two, one. Sector General. I don't be watching him for signals. He said he wanted to get everybody in the raft first, and then he'll give us a first pick up. Okay, all right. Three, two, Sector Juno, channel one six over. Channel back. Sector Juno, six zero three two. Go ahead. Now, can you, uh, just can you confirm what you mean by the other three people are making their way to the raft? Are they still on the boat? or Are they in the water? Over? Sector 6032, they're still on, on the boat. Do you have eyes on it? Uh, yeah, I got eyes on it. Sir. Okay. Jason's at the raft. He's talking to one of the guys. Okay, I see it. It is behind us, though. All right. Looks like uh, the others are slowly making their way into the water. They're a little hesitant, but the next person's in the water. Jason's gone towards him. Okay, looks like the other two are going to jump at the same time there. Straddling that thing for stability. And they're being smart about it. He's using a line.
Splash guy's in the water. I don't see the guy that can't swim. The other guy's making his way towards the uh, raft. Getting a little closer to the back there. Yeah, uh, if, I bet Jason doesn't have his radio out because he's busy, but I'd like that line cut sooner rather than later in case that boat goes under. Yeah. Oh, he's getting the last guy in the raft right now, so... I got the basket rig ready. Just want to breathe, sir. Roger, basket checklist part two. Roger, rest This will be a basket recovery of the uh, first survivor from the water. Stuck the hoist from a height of 50 feet and 165 on the heading. Any questions? No questions. Roger, rest of complete. Roger. Uh, rest of the part two is complete. Ready for one basket recovery of four survivors. Uh, I'm just waiting for a pick up. It was already, sir. I'm just going to... I'm just going to roll through all four. I won't call the complete until we're all done. All right, so we're perfect. Hopefully I can fit five people back here. And then, uh... Alright, yeah, she's doing a bear hook. Is Jason on fifty three yet? Okay. That raft is still connected and has to be concerned, but, uh, unless he comes up his radio... Yeah, they need to get away from that boat. Yeah. He's briefing them up on what's gonna happen, I think. Yeah, he is. I'm going to amend my altitude. I'll come down to like either 30 or 40 feet to reduce the hoist of time. Alright, sir. It'll be safe to, with the swells. It doesn't look not like that big. I'm off 
Target, sir. Good survivor out of the basket. Roger, I've got a visual on the swimmer, survivors. Now I've this guy out of the basket. Out. Okay, the raft is back in the water. Yeah, we've got uh, additional hazards. Water. Alright. Back in the little set. Yeah. So there's a big wood. Are you ready to free the talk or are you busy? Hey, right, sir. Okay, so there's a big wood platform with those two life rings on it. I don't think it'll get airborne. It's woods. It's soaked with water. It's underwater. But uh, it's in the way a little bit. I agree. Yell Yelmington's having to avoid it. Keep itself away from it. I'd like to conduct this voice a little bit further away from the life raft to make Yelby swim, just so we don't blow the raft into the boat again. Right. Sounds good, sir. All right. So are you all set? All set. All right. I'll wait till he gives us a signal, but coming down to about 35 feet from here. Right. I'm going to say... And actually, it's fine with me if you begin the voice to have the basket dangling when, when I see him. Hover over. Sounds good, sir. Target, so you begin the hoist. Okay, I'm about to tell you now, best to throw water. Roger, we get ground. Roger, right, four right, there's two feet. Four right, ten. Four right, five. Eight, four right, and hold. All that
Uh, yeah, I do actually, because you'll be 